Hey guys, this is Action Jackson 95. I'm really excited today because I'm going to be showing you the entire Color Dreams library of the NES, all complete in box with even one pretty rare one sealed. Alright, there's really not much more to say, so before we start, leave a like, comment your favorite NES game, and let's get right to it. Here they are guys, all 15 Color Dreams games complete in box, and I actually forgot two of them are factory sealed. So, why don't we just start off with Challenge of the Dragon. This game's actually pretty rare to find complete in box. This was actually my second to last game of Color Dreams to get uh, in its box. But even better, actually, I got mine factory sealed. It's very nice. Um, yeah, I've been trying to collect these games for about three years now, and I just could not find a Challenge of the Dragon complete in box. The box for this game is really damn rare. Oops, sorry. Alright, so here's the next one. Probably the most expensive of them all. Menace Beach, complete in box. Now, uh, it's in pretty good, it's actually in pretty good condition. It's a little beat up in some spots with some stickers, but this also is kind of a competition cartridge for Color Dreams, but, uh, there's something I want to show you in my box. I have, I have the regular black cart. Which to me is actually a lot more rare than the blue one. But uh, this is actually pretty rare. And I got this one a long time ago. This is the blue one that actually is the competition one. So uh, yeah, there's there's not much to say about these. If you win a competition, you can win like $5,000 or something like that. So those are pretty cool. In my opinion, the black one is just far more rare. You know, hell, even finding the manual for this thing is just really hard. It's actually harder to find than the blue cart. I actually come across the blue cart a lot more. That's why I keep the black one in this box. Next up is probably the second most expensive one and probably one of the rarest NES games, in my opinion, along with Menace Beach. Secret Scout and the Temple of Demise. Uh, I forgot to give my opinion. Uh, Challenge of the Dragon sucks. Menace Beach, not so good. Same for this one. Although it has a hilarious ending... Because basically you beat this game for nothing because the kid dies. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, this one was... Uh, I got both of these actually. Menace Beach and Secret Scout both for 200 or Together for $200. So I obviously couldn't... I obviously couldn't... You know... Push that aside and go find something else. And I'm very happy too. Here is the very last one... That took me fucking forever to get complete. <clears throat> it's Pest Terminator. It's not even that rare of a game, and it's one of the worst games ever, period, but for some fucking reason, I could not find this box. And I've been searching for three years to complete this entire library. This was the absolute hardest one to find. Strange. I mean, it's not even that rare, but in my opinion, <laughs> this took me three years to find. Just that stupid box. I found somebody on Facebook who gave it to me for 20 bucks. Alright, so the next one is uh, King Neptune's Adventure. Uh, this one's actually really nice. Um, I can't remember. Is this the black cart? E yes, it is. This is the black cart. I used to have the blue competition one. That's why I was confused which color I had, but I, I just gave it up. I got rid of it a long time ago. But yeah, the black one, in my opinion, is still more rare. I know these competition cartridges, people say, are like super rare, but in my opinion, they're, they're just kind of a bonus, I guess. Here's another game that... It's surprisingly really hard to find complete in box. Operation Secret Storm. The game's like an $85, $90 game, but... Wow, this game is... I've seen on eBay this thing is going for a lot of money complete in box. I don't know if they sell for that much. I haven't really been paying attention to this game, but... I do know it sells for hundreds. And, uh... Yeah, that's Saddam Hussein. And you get to fight him. It's a pretty funny game. Alright, so here's the next one. One of the obscure light gun games, Baby Boomer. Sorry for the glare, they're in protective boxes. Not all of them, since I don't have a all of I don't I don't have enough, but here they are, here it is. Baby Boomer. Another pretty hard game to find complete in box. Card is like fifty bucks. Manual is like somewhat hard to find, but to me the box is hard to find, especially in good condition too. Mine's got like a few creases like here and there, but overall it's in good condition. Here's my second factory sealed game, it's Paraticus Conflict. And like I said in my previous video, every factory sealed game I have, I have a double with it so I can play it. 
because that'd be fucking stupid to own a game that's sealed and not play it. So yeah, this even has the hang tab on it and everything. It's really nice. Um, I don't like this game, though. And that's going to be an occurring theme for a lot of these games. Actually, all of them. But here's the next one. Raid 2020. Um, again, another surprising game to find complete in box that's pretty hard. Like, mine's actually really good, too. Um, another game that's completely garbage. And again, if you guys are going to be collecting NES, especially complete in box, just know that these come with heavy prices. Especially the first, like, six I showed you. Including Baby Boomer as well. And if... I mean, they're not worth it unless you're into shit like me. Here's Master Chew and the Drunkard Hue. It's pretty nice, you know. Very clean. And then next we have Robo Demons. Again, it's pretty nice. It's clean. It's got like a few marks right there, but... Other than that, I like it. It's good. Here's a really clean one. Uh, Crystal Mines. Again, what's weird about these games is that the cards for some of these games are just not that expensive, but finding these complete in box surprised me of how, like, expensive and or rare they are. And this one, it's actually in very, very good condition. All of, I try to get all of my games in the best condition as possible. Uh, you know, except for the really rare boxes like Menace Beach or something like that. Those, that, was, that was just kind of luck. Silent Assault, pretty common game and pretty common to find complete in box. This is a laughably horrible game. And fun fact, this is a Sashin game. Um, this and the next one I'm about to show you. I don't know why they keep taking Sashin games and then importing them. Well, technically Sashin games were imported to America and all over the world, but that's a long story. But yeah, this is the worst. This is probably the worst Color Dreams game. And the next Sashin game is Metal Fighter. Or Metal Fighter U. It's uh, in good condition, cheap, easy to afford. Not the Sashin one, though. The Sashin one's a lot more rare, including Silent Assault. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, Master Chew and the Drunkard Hue is also another Sashin game. Fun fact. And last but not least, we have Captain Comic. Pretty... Another cheap game. Don't really care if it's in, like... You know, it's a little beat up in some spots, but... Like right there, for instance. But it doesn't bother me when it's a cheap game. But I try to go for like the rare games in good condition in their boxes. So there you have it, guys. That is the entire Color Dreams library. All of them are complete in box. Two of them are sealed. And they're all shit. But it's worth it. Because I love collecting. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day.